हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल हैप्पी मकर संक्रांति टू ऑल ऑफ यू येस इट्स अ लेट अपलोड बट ड्यू टू सम इशूज आई हैड टू वेट बट हेयर आई एम विद अ न्यू रेसिपी दैट इज ऑफ संक्रांति स्पेशल बेंगोलीज पीठे आर फेमस एंड इट्स रिचनेस ब्रिंग्स द फ्लेवर्स इन टू आर टेस्ट बर्ड्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द रेसिपी बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell to get all the notifications. So at first let's make the coconut fillings. For that I have taken freshly grated coconut from one whole coconut then 2 cups sugar and 2 cups of malai wala milk. mix them all and switch on the flame just after 2 minutes of continuous stirring let it cook till the milk totally soaked by the coconut and sugar cook the mixture at low to medium flame Keep stirring in between to avoid burning at the bottom. When there is no moisture left, switch off the flame. Transfer the mixture to a bowl and let it cool down completely. Now let's make the dough. In the same kadai, start boiling two and half cups of water. Once the water starts boiling, slow down the flame to its minimum and add two cups of rice flour to it. Try to use parboiled rice flour, that is, shiddu chaler guro instead of Govindu bhog rice flour, or it will turn hard after mixing with milk. Stir continuously and switch off the flame immediately. Transfer to a mixing bowl and immediately start kneading the dough. It would be too hot, so instead of using hands at first, you can use a spatula and then use your hand. make a soft and smooth dough out of it cover the dough with a damp cloth to lock the moisture then make some lemon size dough or balls For making pulis, take one ball, turn it into a thin flat disc by pressing its sides down by fingertips, or just roll it out with a rolling pin. Put one teaspoon coconut filling into the middle of the disc. Then seal the edges of the dumplings or puli pitas cover and give it a shape of a half moon. After making all coconut stuffed dumplings, cover it with a damp cloth to retain its moisture. And now, with the same dough, we will also make choshi pitay. Again, pinch out few small balls and roll into thin cylinders as shown in the video. On a plain surface, dust some rice flour and from those cylindrical dough, pinch out very small portion and gently roll between palms. Do it very lightly but fast so as not to exert any pressure. Try to keep the choshis under two inch in size. 
the shapes are usually thicker in the middle with tapering ends uh, this process is time taking so do it when you have enough time to kill now we will make dole pithe pinch out small lemon size balls and press within your fist you can also give any shape of your choice cover all the pithe with a damp cloth take 2 liter full fat milk in a white pan and put it on medium flame when the milk starts boiling then slow down the heat add all the pithe one by one then stir well cook for few minutes then add 250 to 300 g of crushed or grated date palm jaggery or patali gur boil the milk for 15 to 20 minutes you may also use sugar if khejur gur is not available around you can also use both of them uh, increase or decrease the amount of sugar according to your sweet preferences stir occasionally After 15 or 20 minutes when the milk gets a little thick stir gently then turn off the heat and let it completely cool down and now it's ready to be served make this delicious recipe and enjoy also let me know your feedback in the comment section below stay tuned for the next video bye